Hi Scrappers, it's Diane here. I wanted to show you some of the Halloween tags that I've been making um, for my Etsy shop that I share with my sister. It's called Bookish Kind. I will put a link down in the description box. Um, these, All these tags that I'm going to show you are made out of shipping tags. I do, I like to do most of my tags with shipping tags. There's so many fun things you can do with them. So this is a Crafty Secret stamp. There was four of these little pumpkin people hooked together and I've cut this, the stamp apart to use them separately because I thought they were really cute. So what I did with this was I sprayed this with some spray. Um, it was probably ha homemade spray. I heat embossed the little pumpkin person. I have used my Martha Stewart punch to make this edge and used my Crafty Secrets to put Spooktacular. There are six different little pumpkin people. These would be cute to tie onto a little treat bag or something or a little gift. So that, that's the first set. My second set I call this one the Monster Mash. These are made with number five shipping tags. Um, these, this is not my original idea. There are lots of um, tutorials on YouTube that shows different ways to do these. This is just my own way. On this Frankenstein I use the Martha Stewart drippy goo punch to make his hair. These are circles that are punched out, cut in half and distressed. These are the same size circles for the whites and a smaller one for the um, little eyes. And then you freehand the mouth. This one, I used a black strip of paper and a circle punch to get the arch for his hairline or eyebrows or whatever. And kind of did it the same way. on the eyes and stuff. Then on this one I cut strips of paper and I put them all together. I cut half inch strips and I put them together and then I took a paintbrush and dipped it in my spray and I just painted it and it kind of seeps down in and gives it a real distressed look. You can see kind of how that turns out. And Then I um, punched the eyes and I kind of took some red ink and inked around the eyes. What you do is you just lay the strips on here and then when they dry I just turn this over and I just cut around and cut cut it off. So I thought those are kind of fun. My next tags are just some cute tags that you could tie around a bag or onto a gift. These I sprayed with purple spray this, these were the sprays, I think, from Lindy Stamp Gang that came out last year for the Halloween collection. And I sprayed the purple, but then I took the um, Distress Tool and used dried marigold and filled in the spots. And then I took black soot and distressed the outer edge. And then these are a crafty secret stamp that I stamped on there. And then I colored the ties with black spray and just when they dried put them back in. My next tag is made out of a number five shipping tag. I've used my Martha Stewart spiderweb punch to add a border on the bottom and punch the corners. Then I just measured this paper that would fit in between the punched area and I heat embossed the witching hour. This is another crafty secret stamp and then I glued it around with hot glue and then I used my tiny attacher to reinforce the um, tops here and this is a pocket tag and you can stick a little treat a little small gift it has to be something small but it's just kind of a cute little pocket tag to to use my next one is made out of a number one shipping tag. This is a dollar stamp that I think I got at Michael's 
and I heat embossed this with black and then I took scattered straw well first I put a mask down over this moon I used a little punch and used some removable tape and put a, a little circle over that so that when I distressed it it wouldn't color the moon and then I did, used scattered straw and I did the whole tag and then I took dusty concord and just went around the outside edges all while the mask was on then I just took off the little circle that masked it with and, it, and it, I like this look because it kind of looks like the moon is glowing this one's a little brighter but you could just see the glow around the moon on, on a Halloween night and so that's a fun technique to do and my last tag I'm going to share with you is a little ghost tag made out of a number one shipping tag and what I did with this was I painted it with white acrylic paint so it would look more white and not the manila look and I ran this through my Xyron and then I took a layer of tissue paper and I crinkled it up and I pressed it over the tag on the sticky side and then I cut this out and distressed around the edges Then I just punched the little eyes and mouth and I used a white pen to highlight the shine in the eyes and then I just used the same tag to put on that was white this is the same technique I used on this butterfly I used some cellophane on the butterfly I ran it through my Xyron just wrinkled it up pressed it on and I think it turned out real pretty on the butterfly I made this for Fiona's butterfly challenge a few months ago so those are the tags that I have to share with you today and if you are interested you could check them out on Bookish Kind I have all kinds of tags there and um, I will put a link in the description box. So I hope you enjoyed my tags, and I thank you for watching.